Zechariah chapter 5. It says, Then I turned and looked up my eyes, or lifted up my eyes, and looked, and behold, a flying roll. A flying roll would be a scroll. And he said unto me, this is the angel, What seest thou? It seems to be the theme over and over and over. I answer, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is twenty cubits, and the breadth of it ten cubits. Now my question is to you is, how big is it? You say, well, Stiley, 20 cubits by 10 cubits. Yeah. How big is it? Is there a Bible answering how big? I never, I have never been shown the Bible answer. And I looked it up today, 1 Kings. We're going to see how big this thing is. 1 Kings 6, 3. This is the temple that Solomon builds. First Kings 6 3 in the porch before the temple of the house. Twenty cubits was the length thereof, according to the breadth of the house, and ten cubits was the breadth thereof before the house. This flying roll is the size of the porch of the temple. Now Second Chronicles. And I have to check this one. Chapter 4. And my messy handwriting. Second Chronicles 4. Verse 1. Moreover, he made an altar of brass. This is the brazen altar in front. 20 cubits the length thereof, 20 cubits the breadth thereof. It's square. And 10 cubits was the height of it. So this flying roll is the size of the porch of the temple and part of the size of the brazen altar. To give you an idea. That's a big thing. That's a big roll. Then said he unto me. Verse 3. This is the curse. Alright. Now I got a note here. That. Where is it? It says, the sixth version, five verses, one, two, four. The sixth version focuses on the Torah, the five books of the law. How is the Torah the curse? I'd be very careful what I say. What is this flying roll? It's a it's a roll, it's a scroll, and it's a curse. It doesn't say anything's written on it. That goes forth over the face of the whole earth. The whole earth is not under the Torah. For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off. Now that cut off in the law of the Jew is you died and you went to hell. But it says on the face of the whole earth, I'm going to assume that also includes the Gentiles. It doesn't say. It says whole earth. So when this roll comes out, if you're a thief, you go to hell. We'll read on. That's one side of it. On the other side of this roll, two sides, given two measurements, shall be 
cut off, excuse me, on the, it says on the side according to it, the other side, everyone that sweareth, now that's not damn and poop and that's, I swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth, and you lie. You, do you, will you take this man, will you take this woman to be your awful lady wife, your awful lady husband, unto death do you part, and you get a divorce? Oh, sure, I'll pay off this loan. It's fine. I'll pay off this mortgage, and you go bankrupt. I'll do it on Friday, boss. And Thursday, you went. And Thursday, you end up in the hospital all weekend long. You couldn't do it. That's why you better be careful and say, "As the Lord will it." Everyone that sweareth shall be cut off, go to hell. As that side accorded. This is one serious flying object. It can tell if you are a slanderer, a liar, a false. That's why they don't bring the Bible in the courtroom no more. Because it's just full of liars. The lawyers are liars. And they tell their 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 their, their representative to lie. And they put a stage show on for the judge and the jury. It ain't about the law. It's who can put the dra the dramatic force and win a, a Tony or an Oscar. And this is a serious role that it can tell if you're a thief. That would wipe out our government overnight. Because most of our government officials, I said most, are liars and slanderers. And I, God, will bring forth, save the Lord of hosts. Now that Lord of hosts... I keep telling you, that's everything. Go to the book of Daniel. Daniel 4. Daniel 4. I'm trying to see. I believe it's 35, 435. Look at this host. This is Nebuchadnezzar telling. All the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing. We're nothing. All have sinned. There's none righteous. He doeth according to his will in the army of heaven. There's the host. Do you realize there's God's army of angelic beings? And there's an army of satanic beings? And in, I believe, Revelation 12, they do a battle. Star Wars. That's that host. That host is all the angels. All the, the, the four and twenty-four elders, whoever they are. Oh, the cherubim. All of life. That's that host. Zechariah. It's great to have the Bible. That has not been changed. Zechariah 5, 4. And it shall enter the house of the thief. This is that role. Now we know Zechariah sees it, but I don't know... If you're sitting there in your living room, here comes this thing. It's not a UFO. Because we know what it is. It's a flying roll. And into the house of him that swears falsely by my name. So see, you guys, do you swear to tell the whole truth? Nothing but the truth. So help me God. I don't know if they say, so help me God anymore in the courtroom.
and shall remain in the midst of his house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. This thing will go into the thief or the, the one that, fa that falsely swear makes a false vow. It goes into the house and the house starts disappearing. I don't know how quick this happened, but there's a day that the, your neighbors will wake up. Well, where's their house? And here's a... Where America elects these these thieves and these these liars, God says, "There goes your house." And then, by the way, when you die, you go to hell. How do you know he's an honest man? Oh, he's got a house. How do you know he's a thief? His house is gone. Where did it go? Is that roll? Then the angel that talked with me went forth and said unto me, Lift up, yeah, lift up now thy eyes and see what is this that goes forth. And, and, and it's funny, this over and over, this angel says, Look, Zechariah. Zechariah says, Oh, yeah, what do you see? I see this. And he goes, Do you know what it is? No, I don't know what it is. Or yes, I know what it is. Do you know why? No, I don't know why. And he said, what is it? This one he doesn't know. Get that. And he, the angel said, this is an ephah that goes forth. Now, an ephah in the Bible. I know there are men in the Bible named ephah, believe it or not. It's a measurement. It would be, today would be, what's that? It's an inch. It's a foot. It's a meter. It's a gallon. Because it's quite interesting. It's a measurement. It's an ephah. And about three or four ephahs makes a bushel. How do you see a measurement? And let me show you something else. Matthew. Matthew and a couple ephahs will go to Matthew chapter 5. Look at a lot of scriptures in there, aren't we? There are churches that don't do this. Neither do men light a candle, 515, and put it under a bushel. A bushel Four or five ephahs make a bushel. A bushel is a measurement. An inch, a pound, an ounce, a gallon. Here in the two places in the Bible, here is a measurement. It'd be like if, if, if I told my daughter, if I asked she would, will you go in the other room and get me an inch? An inch what? Get me an inch. I asked for an inch. Okay, Mr. Psycho, you go get your inch. Now, when I grew up as a child, we used to say bushel basket. And don't say bushel basket. Here in Zechariah, in Matthew, it is a measurement. How do you put a candle under a bushel? Back to Zechariah. How does Zechariah see? All right, it may be a pot, but it don't say pot. It says an ephah. That go with four. It's an ephah that moves. Now this is a UFO. The flying roll, okay. I can draw you a picture of flying roll. Or I can get a picture like I did for the title picture of this message. I can't get you a picture 
I can't draw you a picture of an ephod that's moving. He said, moreover, this is their resemblance, a lookalike, throughout the earth. Who? The only thing that could go back to is the thief and the swearer. Behold, there was lifted up a talent of lead. Okay, I got that. Now, what the lead look like? I don't know. It's a, a talent is a weight of lead. I got that. This is a woman. Where did a woman come from? That sit is in the midst of the ephah. Oh, great. I don't know what the ephah is. And this woman shows up. And now here is this lead rising. Levitating. You don't need to go to the fiction section of the bookstore. You got the nonfiction of the Bible. And no one has the answers of all the answers to this right now. So help me out, angel. Okay. He said, this is wickedness. The ephah, the town of lead, and here's a woman sitting in the ephah. That's wickedness. All right, so that's not or could be this is their reverence, re resemblance. That could be the thief and the liar or the swearer. And here is this ephah, this town of lead, and a woman sitting in the midst of an ephah. That's wickedness. Would you like to draw me a picture? Because <laughs> I can't picture this. He cast it into the midst of the ephah, the lead. Did it hit the woman? Did it touch the woman? Did it bypass the woman? See, I ask these questions when I read the Bible. I mean, when, when Jesus healed some of these people, a blind man, my question is, all right, what kind of job did he get afterwards? Because he's going to have to not work. He can't sit and beg no more. That man that was ostracized by the, the, the Pharisees and scribes that his parents wouldn't defend him, he's not going to have a good life in Israel in Jerusalem, in Judah, because he's been associated with this Jesus. He's already been kicked out of the temple for testifying and defending Jesus. All right, now he can see, where is he going to get a job? That's the kind of questions I ask. I'm writing my Genesis my, my commentary right now, and I'm, I'm on the ark, and I'm saying, okay, the Ark Encounter in, 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 in America. Did you use gopher wood? And they didn't even use any kind of wood that the scholars think that's gopher wood. And they don't even know what gopher wood is. Strike number one. Uh, the Bible says that God told Noah to use pitch, tar, on the inside of it and the outside of it. To seal it, to make it water. This is a question I asked So the Ark Encounter, did you use pitch? Did you... It's too miss, messy, and we're not, it's not going to float, so we didn't use it. Strike number two, it has nothing to do with the Bible. That's deception. I would grab my King James Bible, go up to the Ark County if they would allow me on the property, you probably went, What is the gopher wood? Where is the pitch? And I would read it, out of Genesis chapter 6. That's a quiet question. 
takes a piece of lead and throws it into the ephah. There's a woman there. All right. Then I lifted up my eyes and looked. Behold, there came out two women. Okay. And the wind was in their wings. Okay. For they had wings like the wings of a stork. There's your Roman Catholic wing angel right there. Go look at pictures on there. Go just type in angels. You'll see a woman with blonde hair and these nice wings. And you can do even Catholic angels. No biblical angel in the Bible has wings. And they're male. All of them. Well, Revelation says that this angel flew through the air. And I can sit inside a road and hold a gospel sign. And you know how many cars fly by me? They don't have wings. And you, you'll be at a track meet and a track thing. And here's, man, that runner's just flying down the track. He ain't got no wings. You don't need wings to fly. These are your Roman Catholic and your religious and your New Age women winged angels. But they're not called angels. They are women with wings that are like a stork. You know the stork, he brings the baby. He plucks the baby down the chimney where supposedly Satan Claus comes and brings a gift. And the Bible says children are a heritage of the Lord, a gift of God. You can put that Bible verse on Planned Parenthood's front door. Okay, so here they are. They lifted up the ephod between the earth and the heaven. So it was on the earth. The lead is in the ephod and that woman's in the ephod. And there's two winged women as storks that flies this thing up. Then said I to the angel that talked with me, Whither do these bear the ephod? I would have a better question. What on earth is going on here? But where are they going? Are you ready for the answer? He said unto me to build an house. They're going to build a house in the land of Shinar and it shall be established that house and set there upon her own base. You know what they call the places for spaceships? They call it a base. We're going to build a base Camp. We're going to put a base on the moon. The military facility is called the base. Now, Shinar, Genesis chapter 10, 10 being Gentile, verse number 10 being Gentile. Verse 9. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod I think that was the original name of Elmer Fudd. I think that's the cartoon character. Original name was Nimrod. One of them was named Nimrod. Then they had the name change. 
I think it was Elmer Fudd. A mighty hunter before the Lord. If you want an interesting study into gods and worship and, and, and the modern church, study Nimrod. With Tamu. Study Nimrod and Tamu. You got an artificial Jesus Christ. With a queen of heaven. And a death and burial and resurrection. Or you can go to my website and you can study it all out. Under Christmas. The beginning of his kingdom, 1010, was Babel. And Eric, and Akkad, and Kahn, in the land of Shinar. Out of that land came Asher. Which built Nineveh. There's a serious. We are in Babylon. All this is a reference. To Babel, where God separated the, the people for their language, for a tower that they wanted to reach into heaven. Not God. And of the space agencies of the earth today, they're trying to get to the heavens. Not God. They're saying with this recent telescope that he put in outer space that we seen two stars crash, whatever, and that's what brought our water to our earth. No, God brought the water. God brought it all. I don't understand exactly Zechariah chapter 5, but it's there. God knows. I don't. I don't have all the answers. But if you do a study, when I read the scholars what they have to say about it, they don't know. But it does give into some answers of religion. 